Blue Jays continue on the nice little roll that they've gotten on lately as they beat the New York Yankees 4-3 at Yankee Stadium. This is the final road series of the season for the Blue Jays and a great way to start it with a great bullpen performance and a 4-3 win in New York. What an amazing job by the Blue Jays in this one. Uh, Jacob Wegis pack was great early on, and it allowed the Blue Jays offense to get going. Top of the fourth inning, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's an infield single to short. Kevin Biggio comes in and scores, and the Blue Jays are in front. It's 1-0, exactly what you want to see. Problem, the next half inning, Aaron Judge comes up and crushes his, uh, his 25th home run of the year to left field, and it ties the game at 1. Next inning, I mean, it, it was nothing through the first three for both teams, and then it becomes in basically waves. And then Danny Jansen on the very first pitch from, uh, from Jay Happ crushes the ball to left field, and it's gone. 13th home run of the year for Danny Jansen, and it puts the Jays back on top. It's 2-1. Great job there. Next half inning, Tyler Wade hits a two-run shot, giving the Yankees... The two nothing lead, or sorry, the three two lead over the Blue Jays, and when the Yankees get a lead in the sixth inning or later, it's usually mathematical from there on out. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Teoscar Hernandez walks. Tommy Canely clearly didn't want any part of Teoscar Hernandez, and then Justin Smoke comes up. You know, we don't know what the future holds for Justin Smoke. We assume he won't be a Blue Jay next year, but we don't know what's going to end up happening with Smokey because the Blue Jays' first base position right now isn't really set in stone. You can't say Rowdy Telez has won this job because he really hasn't. So for Justin Smoke, he's just looking to, and you know, he's going out there every day trying to do the best he can. And he gets a fastball upstairs from Tommy Canely. But the problem is, they want it up, but it didn't get high enough. And Justin Smoke hits it high, deep, and gone! Puts the Jays in front 4-3 with the two-run shot for Justin Smoke. Home run number 22 on the season for him. And like I said, the Jays now have the lead. And then the bullpen the rest of the way just shuts the door down. Derek Law comes out for, or no, excuse me, I think it was um, Buddy Boshears comes out for one batter, gets him. Then Gavilio comes out for the next two, gets them. And that, that ends the seventh inning. They kind of splotch that together. Then you go to the, the eighth inning with Derek Law on the mound. Probably the turning point in this ball game, you know, and it was all defense, and I gotta say, guys, defense wins you ball games. It's just the way it is sometimes. You know, he um, Cameron may have been singled to left field. It was a hanging curveball from Derek Law, and he punched it to center field. Now they turn the lineup over. DJ LeMayhew's coming up, then Aaron Judge, then Gregorius, and you just put the number nine hitter on base to lead off the inning. A disaster waiting to happen. Derek Law then gets behind 3-1 in the count to DJ LeMayhew. This does not look good. He throws a strike, gets it full. Then he throws a curveball 3-2. It's in the dirt. LeMayhew swings and misses. Meanwhile, Maybin's on his way to second. Danny Jensen, the one hop. Beautiful job by Biggio. The tag. He's out. Strike him out, throw him out. And now there's two away and nobody on for Aaron Judge. Look at the turning point in the ball game. If you walk DJ LeMahieu, again, it was a 3-1 count to LeMahieu. But instead, if you walk him, there's two on, nobody out for Aaron Judge, Gregorius, and it turned out to be, I think it was Gio Rochella. Um, and it, it's a disaster waiting to happen. But you get to strike him out, throw him out. Now, eventually... You know, Judge does double uh, after that, strike him out, throw him out. Then Gregorius then walks, and now there's two on and two out for, for Gio Rochella, who grounds out to the shortstop to end the inning. And a great job by the Blue Jays, finding a way to get out of that, grounded out to Richard Urania at short to end the eighth inning. And a huge, huge inning there. We talk about it when it comes to the Blue Jays. You get your opportunity late in a ball game to either get back into a game or put a team away. And if you don't get, if you don't come through, more often than not, you're not going to win that game. 
And for the Yankees, that was their opportunity. They didn't get it. And then, you know, and then the bottom of the ninth inning, Ken Giles comes out and, you know, goes three up, three down to end the ball game. And a great job by Ken Giles coming out there in the bottom of the ninth and getting the job done. 21st save on the year for Ken Giles. And he has to throw the clean inning. Great to see there. ERA dropped to 1.98 for Giles. Save number 21 of 22 on the season. He has blown one save as a Toronto Blue Jay. We can talk about how Roberto Osuna was the great player for the Blue Jays and whatnot. But I don't remember Roberto Osuna giving up one save or giving up one blown save in like the 40 attempts that Ken Giles has had. Or something along those lines. He's done an incredible job. The bullpen did a fantastic job today. And you got the job done. You know, um, Vegas back, I, I didn't think he was all that bad. Just made a couple bad pitches. You know, when you throw, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to Aaron Judge, when you try and beat him with a 90 mile an hour fastball inside, he's strong enough. He's going to pull that thing out of the ballpark. And that's exactly what he did. Tyler Wade. You know, where was that? It was a fastball down, and he went down and got it and drilled it out of the ballpark. Couple tough pitches. Other than that, I thought Waggis back did not pitch a very bad game. Four hits over over five innings, three runs, and had six strikeouts. Only walked one guy, so he wasn't terrible. The ERA goes up by two points, but you know what? Sorry, point zero two, if you want to call it that. But I didn't think he was all that bad. So you know what? I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna dwell on his outing too much. Uh, Jason Adam, he was great. Went a clean inning, struck out two batters, no walks, no hits, no nothing. Great job by Jason Adam in his clean inning of work. We talked about Buddy Boshears, Gavilio, Derek Law, and Giles all combining for the four innings to, of 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 two hit ball, and you win the ball game. You combine for two hits and one walk in those four innings by your bullpen, and a great job at that. They had a combined six strikeouts in those four innings as well. They did an amazing job shutting down the New York Yankees there and pulling out the victory. Now, Jays fans are going to say, well, you know, this game doesn't mean anything for the Yankees, blah, blah, blah. It does. I'm sorry. Yes, they won the American League East title last night, and they're jacked up about that. They've already celebrated and everything. But they're trying to beat the Astros and get first place in the American League. Because if it goes to the ALCS, they want home field. And the fact that the J- they were they were half a game back of the Astros coming into, into play today. The Jays beat them. They're now one game back. And hold on a second. The Astros on the top of the eighth right now have a 6-4 lead over the Angels. So they win that. The Yankees are now one and a half back. The Blue Jays could be playing big time spoiler right now. They've now, the Blue Jays have now won five straight games. They're eight and two in their last ten. They're twenty eight games under five hundred, but they're playing fantastic baseball, and you're seeing some really, really good things from the Blue Jays. Anthony Alford got the start in in left field today. He had a tough night at the plate, but I want to see this guy conti- consistently play the rest of the season because. No options next year. You want to see if he's ready to play big league baseball. He was over three with a couple strikeouts in the game today. That's a tough one for him. Kevin Beach even went for four in the ball game with a run scored. Great to see for him. Continue to hit the ball pretty well. And um, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., tough night at the plate. 0 for four with three strikeouts. But Vladimir Guerrero Jr. picked him up right there. Vladdy went two for four with an RBI. Great to see against the Yankees. And he had a hit there in the top of the ninth inning. To try and help the Jays build on their lead, but obviously that didn't happen. And Vladdy raises batting average two points to 276. So he's getting, remember when it was 269 not too long ago? He's really slowly getting that batting average back up again. The series against the Orioles really helped. And game one of the three games set against the Yankees, good job by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Tasker Hernandez, you know, continues to confuse me because I see good things, I see some bad things. You had two for three in the ball. Sorry. Uh, yeah, two for three in the ball game with a run scored and a walk. Did not strike out in the game. Batting average up to 222 for Teoscar Hernandez. Smokey one for three, but picked a pretty good time to go one for. Had the two RBIs, walked once and scored a run. Danny Jansen one for four, but once again, a very good one for. Had the solo shot for him, and uh, and that wraps up that for the Blue Jays. Game two of the three-game set against these Yankees goes tomorrow afternoon to 105 First pitch um, at Yankee Stadium. TJ Zoic on the mound for the Blue Jays. Canadian, the Canadian Maple, I think that's the nickname for him. James Paxton is on the mound for the Yankees in game two of the three game set. And then the finale, it's uh, Trent Thornton and Luis Severino going. So that's exciting there. And actually, I forgot to mention, we've been hearing all about Clay Buckles being the only guy starting 
Well, Jacob Wag is back started today. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with TJ Zoic tomorrow. Are they going to fire Wilmer Font out there? Are they going to fire somebody else out there to open the ball game? Or are they going to let TJ Zoic go out there and face the Yankees? And for, I think it's for the second time, I think. I think he faced the Yankees in his... Um, uh, in his last outing, yeah, where he went five and a third of three runs and two earned runs. So uh, for TJ Zoic, if he does get the start, hopefully he has a good outing and uh, continue to progress for this team because uh, we've seen some good things from him. We've seen some bad things from him. Same with Anthony Kay. We've seen some good. We've seen some bad. That's what happens with young players. And then Trent Thorne, like I said, wraps up the three-game set against Severino on Sunday afternoon. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed the win there this evening, Smack that like button to appreciate that. The Jays have won one five in a row. This is, incre this is incredible, guys. Seeing the Blue Jays win a series against the Red Sox, win a series against the Yankees, sweep the Orioles, and take the first game of the three-game series against the Yankees, you win one of the next two games, and I will be absolutely ecstatic. But we'll see how it all goes, guys. One game at a time. We'll enjoy this for what it is. All right, so hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below everything towards the Toronto Blue Jays team. Go nuts in the comments below, guys. Um, you know, anything you liked about, you're starting to like about this team, the things you're still not liking about this team, let me know in the comments below, guys. And check out my main man, Mo Buckets, on Twitter. Blue Jays Wave on Instagram. We did another podcast this week for uh, the Blue Jays Wave crew, so there was a lot of fun doing that there this afternoon with them and um and i think i think i'm not sure if this one's going to be going up on itunes but if it is guys guys go check it out on itunes if not go check it out on uh the the link is on the instagram page so go check it out guys twitter is down below for myself follow up send me a dm do all that great stuff and i will talk to you guys leafs edition in game three of the preseason as they beat the buffalo sabers there this evening three nothing at scotia bank arena we'll talk about that in a little bit here and as for our blue jays we'll talk to you guys in game two of the three game set against these new york yankees tomorrow afternoon 105 first pitch at yankee stadium tj zoik james paxton is the pitching matchup there tomorrow afternoon thank you so much for listening and watching hope you guys enjoyed this video talk to you guys then